Hey guys, how's it going? I'm EG Magnum, and this is another update video. So another week, another suit. We've got the Ashimar. And if any of you are like me right now, you're probably feeling something like this. Raven in here. Raven. Ashimar. Raven. And guess what? If you look at the title here, Ashimar hype in before sadness and disappointment. And this is my reaction when I read chat. Pull it back. And here we go. Safe. <laughs> it's not a support. What? He called it. He called it. I was sad. It was a sad time indeed. Yes. It is a general. 550 and 600. The one obvious sniper choice. It only has its beam rifle, a grenade, and I believe that's it. And it transforms. And it has a punch. The one obvious suit for a transforming support is a general. But, hopefully, this has been somewhat entertaining for people. We'll look at it here in a second. I do want to make one good point here. Uh, we have some cool news. Good news, everyone. We have Plan Ranked back. So... Oh, wait, real quick. Really important question in the comments below. Let me know. Char Bajina or Quattro Asnable? We got the Quattro Shades. We got the Char Helmet. Okay. Now that the important question's out of the way, let's talk about the important news. Here we go. 4v4 Simple Battle cost 550 Impact Site Saturday. That's the 9th at 9 Pacific. So for me, I'm on Eastern Time. So that is midnight this Saturday, 5 9 at midnight Eastern. Or I guess that's technically 5 10 midnight Eastern because next day. But anyway, uh, 5 9 at 9 a.m. Pacific. So I should probably go back to the clan that I just uh, changed the message to and said midnight. Oops, that would technically mean Friday. So I better I better actually fix that. I'm just gonna put nine Pacific, I think, and uh yeah. That'll that'll suffice. Because what I just put over there was a mess up. So I'm glad we did this. Thanks for the help, guys. Anyway, going back to the uh news. Um we'll go back into the menu to get my usual music on. Okay. And like I said, we have the Ashimar. So, it's not a support, sadly. But, what does it do? As far as what I can tell, its skills seem very support-like. Um, but, I mean, hey, we got a, a, the Ashimar finally in. So, it's beam, 35% heat rate. You can fire it a lot. It's a scooty boy. It's a really fast scooty boy, it looks like. Really cool counter. Fly around, get that beam on. Looks like it's a pretty cool run around and shoot. So if you like, say, something like the Alex with its Alex beam rifle, where you're shooting a lot, and that's your only gimmick, though, is to shoot a lot with a beam rifle, this is going to be your suit. You're going to grenade in between. Probably have a lot of overheat parts, I would say, would probably be the best way, I'm guessing. Again, haven't been able to get one and test it, but I'm going to ask a couple of people, see what they find. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and bring that down. Uh, so yeah. I would say either a conservation beam thing or have it overheat. And then when you're ready to go back up, you know, toss a few grenades, maybe punch somebody in the face and then go back to shooting. So, you know, you can fly around too, just eat some beams and then fly around, save your last one and shoot them again as you're going in. Uh, overall, it still should have the attack ramming, I assume. So you could probably get away with that. But make sure you shoot them and stagger them first. But yeah, I mean, it looks really good overall. Um, it's really fast. So we'll see if it has the extra stuff it needs just by being somebody playing it really skillfully to compete with a lot of the extra bells and whistles that, say, the Zeta has. Well, I mean, really, you're competing with the Zeta at this point for the general slot. I still say the Zeta wins over this one. Um, I would really like to have seen this in a support. That way it would have its own way to compete 
at the 600 cost with say something like the MLRS or the Jaeger or even the seventh that just came out. Uh, so yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think about this being a general. Again, I mean, in my opinion, it's I'm kind of disappointed. I feel like this was the easy support that we could get. I've been saying we needed a nice transforming support, and I'm going to be really disappointed if we don't get one. Now my next bet is on the bound dock. Please give us a transforming support. All I'm saying, if anybody somehow, if this somehow gets in front of Bandai Namco, please give us a transforming support. That's all I'm asking. Anyway, moving on. Uh, Titan's Helmet 5. Um, this is... I'm trying to remember... Wait, wait, is this... Wait, actually, does... Who, who piles the Ashimar? Is this actually uh, Jared's suit? Or... Um, I can't remember. Oh, well. Moving on. We got some awesome stuff for supports, though. We got the Hildoffer level 3 and the gun tank assault, or assault gun tank, sorry, level 3. And wow. Um, yes, please. They nerfed both costs already once, and they nerfed the 400 cost twice now. Actually, is this three times nerf? I don't know. It's either twice or three times. The, the 400 got one extra nerf over the 450. And now we got the 500, and the stats already are insane at 450. And yeah, I just th these are going to be crazy. You're, you, there now is no reason that this that you should really use the Zommel at 500 because you have this thing now. If you get the Hilt Offer, uh, the Assault Gun Tank has a lot of cool stuff. Um, it scales pretty well, so having a level three will be really cool to see uh, if it really holds up. And yeah. By the way, guys, GBO days. Get your free suit a day up until Sunday, um, which I think is technically Saturday for us, something like that, you know, time difference. But yeah, check at least till Sunday. Uh, but I think it ends Saturday. I could be wrong on that one. Again, like I said, just check it. Make sure better safe than sorry. And Ashimar joins the fight. We got the banner here too. So you can spin on the Hildoffer and the assault gun tank. Pretty awesome. Again, these are going to be great. I'm going to be spinning on this instead of this, just because this isn't a support. Again, I'm sad. But anyway, um, I'm going to be saying I'm sad and I'm, I'm mad a lot on the podcast tomorrow. But in the ticket shop, we have the Gundam Level 4, the Early Production Gelgoog Level 4, and the G-Line Standard Level 2. The Gundam, always solid in the game. They try to buff it just to keep it somewhat relevant at some point and you know it's pretty solid um can't really complain if you really want it and you really like the gundam's play you have definitely easy access to kind of get out there with it and try to use it so pretty much check it out it's cool it, it can be good um i know uh somebody just got the level five chad uh, and he got top everything in it. So it can do great things. Uh, it's definitely probably one of the most general, general suits there is. And it is the Grandpa Gundam. Anyway, G-Line Standard. You can take things out of the air with it. You can do some decent damage. The, oh my gosh, the Gatling Smashers sound so good. It is one of the best sounding weapons in the game. Intensify that barrage. Get in there with that one. Uh, early, early production Goog is okay. Uh, I think that's the preferred preferred version over the normal gogu so yeah it's not bad you don't have your shield on your back i think the normal gogu has the shield on the back so not a bad suit um i know people who like googs that really like this suit personally at this point i would prefer the high mo if i could get it uh, but yeah definitely a solid suit and they added the main weapons of for the gun to beam rifle the gogu beam rifle level four it's the gun to beam rifle level 4, by the way. The uh, GD beam rifle, SN level 4. Actually, uh, no, I'm not. I, I don't actually know what that is. We, we'll check that out here in a second. And the hyper hammer level 4. Actually, oh, that's the uh, napalm thing, isn't it, for the Gundam? That's what that is. That has to be what that is. Here's the mix-up stuff. Uh, mix-up. Mix up and simple, and mix up and target shuffle. Same, same stuff, different week. Um, what else we got? Apply drop, 
Um, ooh, and right here, plan match, 5-10, Sunday. Again, for anybody on Pacific, it technically will be Saturday. And I guess on East Coast, since it is midnight, technically also Sunday. But yeah. Um, here's the banner showing off that. I mean, we've already talked about, about that, so we'll move on. GM Night Seeker 2 Raid 250 is what's on the line for this clan match. So, uh, Raid 250 sounds pretty good. Looks kind of cool. Yeah, I'm kind of curious to see what it does. Um, also, teams will be paired closer to their own ratings. They're going to kind of um, change how the... Uh, that system works, so that's pretty good. By the way, this lasts two hours, so you got two hours. So for uh, West Coast, it'll be 9 to 11. East Coast, it's midnight to 2 a.m. So, there we go. Let's see. I th think we need to look at this one. And penalties. So if people leave, they're increasing it. I wonder how many times you can dodge before you uh, actually get your penalty. But... I like it. Get those bands out. We don't need this dodging stuff. You only got two hours. You got to get in the games. So take what you get. Play it. Stop this dodging nonsense. Um, also, by the way, uh, I went ahead and pulled it up just to look. And um, Gabriel Zola. That's what I'm seeing here for pilot. Oh, wait. I think I know who that is. Anyway, I can't remember. I'm I'm bad with names anyway and who the pilots are and what uniforms they wear. Everything looks pretty much... I was going to say, that looks more like a Titan's uniform. Oh, well. Somebody let me know in the comments. I'm always bad with that stuff. I always need to look it up most of the time. Uh, yeah, and instead of reading about all of this on the wiki and maybe finding it, we'll just... Hopefully somebody can answer that question. Because I am, I forget, I, I thought it was Jared who flew this in the show in Zeta, but yeah, well, we'll figure that out later. I might put a comment down below. I'll add a comment if I find it. There we go. But anyway, guys, uh, clan match stuff. The rewards. Where is the rewards? I think I skipped it up here at the top. No, this is not what we're looking for. This is really bad. I am, wait, 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 this, I think this is it, yeah, here we go, so, first, second, and third is the only clans that can receive this suit this time, sadly, this is in our prime time for us, because normally it is like 7 a.m. Uh, Eastern and 4 a.m. Pacific, Hopefully it's not that bad, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. And that should be probably next week. I'm guessing next weekend, they might push it out too. This could be just a test to see how it's working again. See if everything holds up and what they've changed can help out. Um, I was really hoping that this would come with like a patch to kind of help the network stuff. Maybe they've done it on the back end and they haven't had to patch. But as of right now, it's looking like uh, we are probably going to see some of the same problems, I'm guessing. Which is kind of awkward. But, yeah, we'll see. Um, but anyway, that'll be it for this one, guys. Usual links will be down in the description. Twitch, uh, Twitter, Discord, stuff like that. Yeah. But anyway, it is like almost 3 a.m. So I need to get to bed. Going to be doing some Borderlands tomorrow. Root. But anyway, guys, that'll be it for this one. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Peace.